the wall, you got nothing to lose. That's when magic can happen. So here we go. Upper bracket semifinals. Ice Spirits to start from both guys. And you can see some people emoting there in the in the field. Of course, you can watch alongside us here, but keep in mind all of the matches for Clash Royale League available inside the tournament hub in your app. So you don't have to have friend links to watch these guys play. You can watch them however you want to watch CRL this year. But then, Rich, how would they hear my mm. missed calls on deck picks? Well, they can put the YouTube on in the background and then still watch <laughs> on their phone so the game plays full screen. Or they can just imagine that I'm doing Ooh. it and they're still they're right. So I like what we're seeing from Mo here in game number one. It's Hog, it's Control, it's Giant Skeleton with an AQ. I mean, it's just go to your bread and butter, play what you're good with, uh, don't do anything fancy here. And uh, that's what we're seeing out of the GOAT. Well, and you see a really nice sequence theoretically from Clown here, and it ends up working out in the end. That whole defensive sequence, if you want to talk about what's making Clown sing so far in this competition, the way he used the Ice Spirit to control the the, the Archer Queen, leaped across the, the river, and then bought the time to protect the Musketeer a little bit longer, just the piece after piece after piece, you just saw Clown play a really perfect set of defense here against the best player in the world. Yeah, and I yeah. think that that's going to have to continue yeah. to happen as well as Good. really abusing these Musketeers. I mean, I've seen it in qualifiers, I've seen it on your channel, I've been watching it on videos online, but the Musketeer has screamed back into meta because small spells have been everywhere or lightnings, nice. right? Poisons and yes. fireballs oh, just oh, aren't oh. quite as popular right now. So Musketeers have been getting an insane yeah. amount of value. And if you can stack two of them on your side of the board, they do so well defensively. The one thing that uh, I guess you don't have uh, the luxury of in that situation is because of the giant skeleton, you're not gonna get a lot of two musketeers crossing the bridge. But as far as a defensive conversation, should be a positive for Kick Ash. Goblins on the right hand side, taken care of by the Archer Queen, Fireball. Just to get some damage and spread things out, the EQ does get on the bomb tower. Is this wow. hog gonna sneak by the bomb tower bomb? Oh, Ice Spirit. Right to try to clean things up, but 23-2 remaining. Kick Ash, Clown staying in the mix here, but Mo starting to put the pressure on. Yeah, great dual lane pressure here. You see the bomb tower coming out a little bit late, but the Earthquake's already there. Just enough oh. going on the right-hand side and a great predictive log on top of those goblins, but still, Kick Ash playing good defense. I mean, that's the one nice thing about decks like this, Rich, is it's really easy to track their cycle and it's really easy to track their elixir. And you see what just happened there where, you know, there was a slight elixir lead in the hole for Mohammed Light, but the Musketeer on the board was more value than the elixir differential. But Mo just perfect control there with the Ice Spirit, gets the positive trade and gets himself back in the driver's seat right as we go into sudden death. And I really, really like how Kick Ash played that defense. He still is in the damage deficit by quite a bit. His defenses are nice, but he's having to spend an arm and a leg every time, and Mo is making him work differently every single time. One time it's the giant skeleton taking for the musketeer, and then the hog goes in. Another time it's you see the guards plus the hog push. It's just that every single time he's innovating. This last time it was AQ in front of the giant skeleton, then use the AQ ability. So he's just making it really, really tough to put a finger on his offensive pushes. And that oh, might God. have been a little bit extra there out of Clown as the Hog Rider plus All EQ right, will do its damage on the left-hand side. Hog just really forcing really out good. expenditure. Oh, and now we go, look at this cycle here yeah. as we get come into on. triple elixir. Ice Spirit plus Mighty Miner trying to stop, but still gives up one shot. Oh, yeah, and that's the thing is there's, there's literally no offense being generated here by Kick Ash, whereas Muhammad Light, every single time, he's not only making his opponent overspend, but he's getting a hog hit. He's getting a AQ shot. He's getting what have you. Hog into the left-hand lane. Drill plus log plus fireball. Desperation play, but the yeah. log cleans all of that up. There's nothing coming from that. And man, look at this. Shots after shots after shots. Pre-log comes in. Hog will still hit, get two shots, and you see there, Clown going, man, what do I have to do to get a little bit of offense here? He's going, man, there's no Archer Queen on the board. How are there three hogs on the board? There's no AQ. What does he have, like a two card cycle? I mean, the Hog Rider offense is so relentless because it is that beautiful EQ plus however 
cheap defense he's playing on the other side that makes it seem like a second hog rider comes down before a giant skeleton before another aq it seems like he's got a two card cycle because he's cycling those incredibly cheap cards for defense every time and then he's setting the line high with that giant skeleton so just i mean if you want to know how to play hog eq if you want to know how to play anything watch muhammad light but specifically <laughs> hog eq yeah, I feel like if you want to learn how to play Monopoly, go ahead and watch Muhammad Light. I just have a feeling he's good at it. If he's good at Monopoly, I am also upset, and I'm sure he is. Keep playing. Giant skeleton pulled up by the fisherman. I don't anticipate any fisherman giant skeleton bomb errors out of Muhammad Light in this one. None of those shenanigans. Was it Javi? I think it's Javi, right? Javi Katarse, yeah. who's his great kryptonite is those giant skeletons getting one tile further than he thought. Big shout out to the OG, Javi. And pig split two and two here. Hunter plus Electro Spirit will do a nice job on the right hand side. Fishboy has to walk here a little bit. So he get up some nice early chip damage. Clown now in the lead against Mohammed Light with a minute 20 play. So Mogo and RG again, I mean, it, it's it's shocking that I think I actually enjoy watching Moogie play RG more than Mohammed Light. But again, Mo is another person that when you talk about defensive sequences, you always go to go to option, well, let's just put an accent there. You always got to go to options two, three, and four, never option one. And RG gets pulled away from the Zaffies, which go on the bird, means lots of RG damage. 1924 on that bottom right hand tower and the lead that was there quickly diminishing. That giant skeleton will get to tower. Wow. I mean, it's a very, very nice push there by Clown. And look at that. And just as the lead completely flies over to Muhammad Light, Clown gets it back. And yeah, you put it right there as that fisherman walked away and was just fully focused on those pigs. No answer really for that giant skeleton and Muhammad Light finds himself in a hole. Yeah, I mean, maybe we're jinxing him with the caster curse here all of a sudden talking about the giant skeleton not being a factor. Does get on tower while the piggies go opposite lane. I've been loving how much I've been seeing piggies over the last couple weeks. Don't love that fireball value there from Clown. Quite a bit indeed. And now Royal Ghost will be picked up here by the Fisherman plus Phoenix. But they're pushing right into another giant skeleton. Yeah, and I love the pigs right behind because there's just the giant skeleton still has so much HP. Everything that's up high is going to get that death bomb. And he goes opposite. He does have the mirror. A little bit of a okay, Mo special. Uh, this deck, uh, uh, this deck gave me nightmares. A version of this deck that was very popular for a while. And because of that send, though, I think Mo might be able to just steal this game. Yeah, you have the the monk tanky. 100%. Royal Giant just shredding. And Bro. that was... <laughs> it, <laughs> why? Everything right. And then spent six elixir on pigs with oh, fireball and cycle. <laughs> Yes, thank you. That's all that needed to be said. We can move on to the next match. I mean, doing everything correct against the best in the world.